Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Girl Talk. I've got a little bit of mess and a little bit of drama today for you guys. For today's video, we're going to go ahead and get all caught up with Foodie Beauty or Everyday Miriam. I haven't been talking about Foodie except on the live stream, so I thought we would discuss what has been going on these past few days. And she put out a very interesting video today, probably her most interesting in a while. Is there any competition there though? That tells me she regrets the life that she has chosen big time and admits it was really just another impulsive decision. Yikes. It sure has been a wild ride over the years watching Everyday Miriam from moderately successful mukbanger to the Natter saga slash live stream era to her complete 180 shift to a Muslim revert woman just struggling to get by as people focus their attention to reaction channels and the like. Today, we will recap as well as discuss where she is at today. Will she return to Canada or meet her demise in Kuwait? We will also talk about her brand new video that to me was downright shocking and very well might be one of her most deluded videos yet. You can take the girl out of the West, but you can't take the West out of the girl. As the regret sets in, let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? Baby Mia says like the video. You can't say no to this, can you? All right, you guys, welcome back to today's Shantopolis World Update. Lately in the chin First, she has been celebrating Ramadan, and that has become this point of drama for her for some reason. She is compelled to ramp up the drama around this time. I mean, we saw it last year, her quote, worst rage in Kuwait, possibly. And now it all comes down to her general defiance. With all the evidence I have gathered over the years, I have decided to diagnose her with oppositional defiant disorder. Bitch, you don't have a degree. No. I'm like totally kidding. People just noticed over the years that when told to do something, Foodie's initial thought is do the opposite, simply in an effort to hurt the other person offering the advice, even at her own peril, which we have seen time and time again. Interestingly enough, when you Google oppositional defiant disorder, most of the resources discuss children and teenagers. Maybe if we all tell her she has to stay in Kuwait, she'll go back to Canada. I want to see the picking up the pieces arc, the starting over arc. It's going to be a bitch to find a place that she can afford in Canada right now. She just might be stuck in Cornwall with her buddy Pete's. First, let's discuss her celebration live stream. We didn't get to discuss this one on Shook After Dark, but to be fair, not much happened. We did talk about how she got her 100k plaque after being stuck at 94k-ish for years. A bump from bots and shout outs pushed her over the edge while her views remain the same and or lower than they were a few months ago. She's eating a cake and whining about her pain. She admits that she won't go to a mosque because she's embarrassed to get down and pray in the traditional style. I think that that is part of it. And the other part is she can't get down like that. And she struggles to leave the house at all. So if she isn't getting a treat out of it, forget about it. ALR hopped into the live stream quick to say congratulations to her girl. When will these girls realize that either one will throw the other one under the bus as soon as it's convenient for them? But Amber quickly leaves. She's busy with her Buzzballs McDonald's and new fake girlfriend. So what exactly does Chantal do every day? Well, between debunking the truth in her rage streams and feeding times, she has started to do these weird music videos again. Yes, I'm talking about her CPAP crap rap. I don't know what to say really. She couldn't just eat? Is everything okay? No, girl, it's not. What is wrong with her exactly? <laughs> she also did two acapella Madonna covers. I find it that when she does these weird cartoons or singing videos, there's almost always trouble in paradise behind the scenes. She'll be on, probably taking it out on FFG, in three, two, one. 
one. That's what she does when she fights with Salah behind the scenes. She comes on and rages at whomever she chooses that day, but really nothing gives us more of a concrete look into the state of foodie beauty than this brand new vlog titled Rainy Ramadan 2024 Vlog and Muslim Revert Problems. She's going out in the rain. I don't know why, but this feels like an old video. It's not, but maybe that's just because she wears that white and blue abaya all the time. Or this footage in the beginning could be old. I, for one, am absolutely shocked that she can even do this. And by this, I mean walk. Kuwait doesn't seem to be built for the rain because it doesn't happen very often. Salah's driving, although she makes a point. Now, this was really interesting and strange. She makes a point to not even show his hands, which is so weird. I watched it twice, and there's this shot of a steering wheel. Salah, supposedly Salah, driving the car, right? But the frame is cropped just enough so you do not see his hands. Was that done on purpose? Is it so that we wouldn't see the hands of a female on the steering wheel? What's going on there? Where exactly is Salah? Because I don't think we've even heard a disembodied voice in quite a few days. Off to the red room. I'm astonished by the sheer lack of room in that passenger seat. It is an SUV, after all. They did show her walking up to the mall, but no footage of her in the mall. It makes you wonder the point, or if she even made it in. Cut to the rest of the video, which is really the meat and potatoes. She's in the apartment, different outfit. Julia is alive and well. This is a get unready with me her chance to flex her knowledge of religion and the issues she faces. She's got a lot of issues. She claims in Islam, they can be very judgmental. I feel like she has stated the opposite in the past, but okay, go off, sis. Previously, she was Catholic, and no one preached to her about being a good Catholic or Christian or how to practice. But now she has people coming for her and how she practices all the time. But I say she was never a practicing Catholic online. That's like me saying I was. I grew up in the Catholic Church, but it's not something I really talk about, and she never really talked about it at all unless it came up for some reason. She's upset because everything she does is criticized down to the hand she uses to eat. It's interesting to me because just last week, she was raging, saying we are not moral people, judging us on our practices or lack of. So, hypocrite much? Chantal states that she just joined last year and she's still learning. And yeah, that's okay, but then why do you make yourself the all-knowing foodie? You've made yourself a representative of Western reverts and even just practicers in general when you are not. Sit down, foodie. She's struggling with a lot of things when it comes to upholding the traditions, like music being frowned upon. Doesn't her man play Grand Theft Auto V, Resident Evil, watch movies? Music is in everything. And as with most religions, people follow their own way, with the majority of modern Muslims believing music should only be avoided if it leads to haram things like drinking, relations, adultery. <coughs> like your husband. <coughs> that husband of hers, I'm telling you, he is not as meek as she wants us to believe. Why is he allowed to play GTA 5, watch adult material, and commit adultery, and you're worried about listening to music, having a puff of shisha, and wearing makeup? He's pushing her. He's controlling her. And he 100% made her stay in Kuwait. You can't leave. What I say goes. That's the real Salah. Mark my words. Completely controlling her while he goes and does his own activities. Don't think that that's still going on? The texting, the role-playing, the red room? She says that the constant policing from the community is a deterrent from joining. She thinks that people will see this and not want to join. I say this is what you chose. And there are certain rules people expect to be followed. This ain't the Western world, sweetheart. This is what you signed up for. She feels like people who convert are ridiculed more. Girl, are you sure it's not just you? <laughs> I mean, look at the content that you put out, the gluttony, the gossip. We could go on. She's starting to think, and she out and out states, maybe I should have researched more before taking my shahada, which is the conversion ceremony. You think? 
you can tell that there is some regret there. I can't believe, but it's obvious that this was just another impulsive decision for her to completely uproot her life. And now she's living with the consequences. The cracks are beginning to form. Well, no, the cracks have been there for a while now, but she's finally being honest about some of these things and not just portraying it all as her perfect new life. She admits that she said the words that got her in. But now, she wants to have her cake and eat it too. She wants to be in, she wants to be Muslim, but she wants to do whatever she wants. That's not how it works, sweetheart. She literally states, We have a right to believe what we want, worship how we want, show it how we want, and you keep your opinions to yourself. Mmm... That's not do whatever you want. She very much still has that Western world outlook. This is not a common way of thinking over there. It's completely ridiculous that she thinks that she can go over there, join the religion, live there, and then also think she can go about it however she wants and tell people that their concerns, people who have been in this religion their whole life, well, they're not valid because she could just do whatever she wants. Did someone say ridiculous? Did someone say delusional? I wouldn't be surprised if this video was deleted, to be honest. It's that bad. She really just doesn't get it. In her own words, she has admitted that she didn't know exactly what she was signing up for. And she talks about people in the community researching Kuwait, knowing more about Kuwait than she does. And I know Kuwait is much more westernized than other countries in that area, like, say, Afghanistan. Imagine if she was in Afghanistan saying that she was going to do whatever she wants. Hmm. But even if it is a bit more westernized, that doesn't mean they still don't have these traditions. And I don't feel bad for her at all because this is what she signed up for. This isn't a joke and this isn't something that you just rush into without knowing all of the details. And I would say that about any religion. These practices and traditions have been around for thousands of years. I mean, who is she to dictate? It's honestly hilarious. Like, who does she think she is? <laughs> So what do you guys think? Is this the beginning of the end of Chantal's Middle Eastern arc? I mean, she can't hang, obviously. She wants to do what she wants and go where she wants. And, you know, part of the reason she doesn't is because she just doesn't know that area and she just doesn't feel comfortable alone. There's also the judgment and then there's also the traditions. Something tells me she's missing Canada right now, but it might not be her choice to go back. And that's really starting to set in. What did I do? What did I sign up for? The writing is really on the wall with this one. Could she be any more delusional? All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I just wanted to tell you guys I have been in a little bit of a rut mentally, creatively, but I really appreciate those of you guys that are here watching. No matter what, spring is right around the corner and I'm super excited for that. Make sure you go ahead and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And thanks again. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the, the next one. All right. Bye, everyone.